Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper and we're on vacation in the mountains of Massachusetts close to the New York line and in this video I want to show you some of the really cool features in ICOMS ID5100 Alpha D-Star mobile radio related to its GPS functionality. In previous videos I demonstrated how you could download a repeater list onto an SD card and install it in the radio from dstarinfo.com and I'll put a link down below to that website but as you can see here in the display, I have the radio set up for the home repeater back in Virginia. And that's not going to do me much good here in Massachusetts. So what we're going to do is use the GPS functionality to look up a repeater that's close to my location here in Massachusetts, specifically Albany, New York. Connect to that repeater. We're going to connect to the reflector that's connected to my repeater back in Virginia and see if I can talk to my neighbor down the street in Virginia. So the first thing I'm going to do here is tap the from line twice hit the near repeater feature we're going to select DV or digital voice repeater and now it's using my GPS coordinates that's internal to the radio and pulling from that ST card now I've already cheated and tested this so I'm going to go down to a repeater that I know works and this is this Albany New York repeater 39 miles away we're going to select that now I'm going to come up here and tap the reflector 2 line and we're going to pull the information let's see what the status is of the repeater so I'm going to chunk the repeater once and it should come back with an audio message to tell me its status. In this case I'm not getting a status. Could be something specific to this repeater. But I don't hear any traffic so I'm going to come back here, go to reflector, go link to reflector, and I'm going to select 62 Charlie. That's my home repeater reflector. I'm going to chunk the repeater once. And that should connect me. Remote system linked. Now I'm connected to the 62 Charlie reflector. I'm going to come back over here to reflector, use reflector, and now I should be able to make a call to my neighbor back in Virginia. KG4 LOL, KG4 LOL from K1 DOS. Copy me. KG4 LOL, this is K1DOS. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to come back to my call. We're in the mountains of Massachusetts making a video here for YouTube demonstrating the awesome capabilities of the D-Star network and how you communicate long distances by connecting repeaters using the internet and reflectors. I have your station full quieting here. How me? QSL, David, thank you for uh, responding to the call. And that last go around, your GPS information actually came up, showing that you were 321 miles from my location. I'd like to say thank you again and best 73s, and be clear on your final. Seventy-three, Dave. So now that we completed our QSO, we want to return the repeater to the status that we found it. Good protocol or good etiquette. So we're going to come back up here to use reflector. Come to reflector. We're going to unlink that reflector. Could chunk the repeater once, and that will disconnect. System unlinked. And that will disconnect the Albany repeater from the sixty-two Charlie reflector and then the system should set up with its regularly programmed reflector in its normal state. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It shows the tremendous potential that D-STARS has for both local and regional communications and how it can be used to support emergency preparedness and general emergencies. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the Comms Prepper with a D-STAR demonstration video. Thanks for watching, guys.